So thank you for coming, and on time. Barely on time. Traffic is good. All right. Um, so first off, I, I want to quickly introduce, I don't have all my notes with me, which is, you know, I always do that. But <laughs> so to start on my left, um, it's Dave McClure. Dave is the founding partner uh, of 500 Startups, and he actually, before that, thank you so much, um, also run the uh, Founders Funds, and before that, the uh, Facebook Graph Fund, you know? Yes, I ran the Early Stage Investment Fund at Founders Fund for a bit, and ran the Early Stage uh, Investment Program at Founders Fund for a bit, and the uh, Facebook uh, Incubator Fund for a little bit. Great. And then next, I have Sachin, this fun day. Um, Sachin actually started a company called Tapioca, and uh, sold to Qualcomm, and now you actually run business development at Qualcomm Ventures. Right. And before that, you heard OpenWave, Cisco, yeah, and another right. one. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Bandian Systems. So that's oh, so welcome. <laughs> and then, last but not least, we have David B. Uh, David is also advisor to to Dolphin, and we're very excited to have him. And he actually currently runs at the hundred million dollar uh, SK this SK Telecom Ventures. So a venture partner for a corporate venture fund called SK Telecom Ventures. Okay. And then you also have your OC fund, which is XG. Um, X School of Ventures, and he's also um, one of the first 200 employees um, with Google. Uh, when he was there, you actually um, the first directors that did all the overseas uh, operations, especially in Asia, Europe, and all of this stuff. So today we're very excited to have them here. Um, and so sort of my first questions, and you can, anyone want to take this? What are what are some of the recent investments, especially around mobile, you guys have done recently? And like, why do you invest in them? <laughs> uh, I guess why we invest in them probably because there's uh, on anywhere from one to three billion devices that are available customers these days, depending on whether you're talking about only English speaking or globally, uh, or you know, smartphone smartphone versus future phone. Um, so you know, a pretty big market opportunity. Uh, more and more monetizable. A lot of them have credit card things attached to them. If they're sort of newer platforms. Um, kind of, I don't know, I guess one distinction is when you say you're investing in mobile, it's sort of like you're investing in air. It's kind of like not really very specific. So, <laughs> um, there's a set of maybe infrastructure investments we've made around mobile and then more direct to specific customers. So uh, AppStack is a company we invest in that's doing um, automatic generation of mobile uh, websites. They sort of look up geolocation information on small business, auto-generate the website, and then when they call to pitch you about selling you the website, they can actually show you the website that they've generated. Uh, they have uh, investment from Google Ventures also in partnership with Google, so they're also offering uh, mobile advertising, which for a lot of small business merchants is kind of like black magic, so it's, it's kind of like gets you a small business website and gets you click-to-call customers all in one package, which I think is pretty cool. Anyway, just a couple of others. Bungle does distribution via mobile video. That's an angel pad company. Uh, Trigger.io, which used to be WebMind, is cross-platform web, de web development. That was a YC company. Um, SEO, Searchman, does distribution and social discovery tools for web de uh, mobile developers. AppSolar, behavioral analytics and metrics. And then most recently in our current batch, uh, Glider is doing social media outreach tools for mobile, uh, again, customer acquisition focus. So, most all of those set of tools are really trying to help build infrastructure around mobile apps and services, either building infrastructure or acquiring customers. And then a couple of examples of apps that are more direct to customer. Uh, MindSnacks is doing language apps for uh, iOS. Um, Smeal, which acquired a company we invested in called Kush, does uh, music-based apps. Uh, T-Pain app, Songify app, like, uh, um, Yoga May does educational games for kids on the iPad. Um, we've actually done a lot of stuff recently around family and kids. We think those are huge opportunities for particularly iPad and mobile. Uh, Storytime is doing a custom web, 
as a little story platform for kids, and Timbuktu is doing iPad-based content. So um, there's probably about 20 others that I'm leaving out that list, but there's a lot to be done in mobile. Um, for us, we haven't done as much on social games, but that's also a huge category where there are a lot of people monetizing as well. 100 on 500 on mobile. <laughs> well, yeah, in, in, in Qualcomm, oh, what's that? Probably 20 or 30 percent. Probably about 20 or 30 percent of our uh, investments are mobile related and stuff. Um, I, I work at Qualcomm Ventures. I, I lead business development for the group. And we've been investing in mobile um, uh, for 16 years, uh, since really since 1996. Uh, maybe too early, frankly. <laughs> Way too early. But. Um, well, yeah, and it's kind of funny. I would say the first set of years, literally the first uh, you know, 10, 10 plus years, we were investing with, um, you know, we, we do invest with, with the financial mindset first and foremost, but we were also trying to drive the wireless ecosystem. I think, you know, one could argue right now, um, the wireless ecosystem doesn't need much, 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 much driving. It's, it's, it's doing really, really, really well. And so now we're actually, when we invest, uh, you know, in addition to the financial reasons, which are obviously the most important, we're actually trying to be a you know, sense of this company because just there's so much innovation. I mean, I, I'm sure right here in this room there's just so much innovation. So um, that's that's a key thing. Um, two key things about Qualcomm Ventures that might be interesting to you guys because our whole portfolio is mobile. Um, one is historically we were a Series B and Series C investor, uh, occasionally Series A. Um, we've started doing seed investments. Um, and I'd say historically we've done both hardware and software investments, and, and I think this room is largely software developers. Um, we are doing mostly software investments, right now, although we still do hardware. What are the couple that you, you're most excited about recently? Well, I, I, and we're, we're excited about all of them, of course, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll point out two companies just to show the, 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 you know, the breadth. Um, you know, one was a, more of a Series C company that we put some money in, and one was a C company. So, um, I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions one way or another, but we see it invested a you know a company called Viddy, which some of you might know is the um, Instagram is, is, is an Instagram of video, um, and uh, we we were there right right at the beginning. Uh, we, we met them when they were founding the company. We liked the proposition. Um, so that was something kind of new to us. Um, and and um, but on the other hand, we just invested in another video, non-competitive video company called Tango, uh, which some of you guys may know as the FaceTime. Uh, you know, across platforms, you know, Android, and, you know, and, and, and so we're excited about both investments, but I think that gives you a flavor that we do things at, at, at different levels. Is that feedback from the camera? You must be biting. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, David. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think I kind of fell into investing uh, when I left my former company. Um, was looking at a lot of companies in Asia that were trying to come here, as well as companies that were going mobile sort of right off the bat, 08. 07 that already had something ready for other markets and first investment I did was called Tapulous. You guys might know that uh, Tap Tap Revenge game that came out right when the SDK came out. And you know back then I think I was skeptical because it was so simple. What I didn't realize that simple is, is better and that's one of the sort of defining themes when I look at companies now that I find to be very interesting on the mobile side. Since then you know uh, and Tapulous did have some cross-border which is sort of the, the focus that I look at is you know content coming from Asia that wants to find a home here platform wise as well as companies that want to go there because it's such a rich mobile market um, and um, so since then uh, Posters is another one you might know I'll just roll out some names Kabam which is a game company but uh, one of the reasons they took our investment from SK was because they you know they wanted to go mobile in Asia and being that it was so focused on the Facebook platform you know to get off that to be more in, in, in the hands of people I think. They had to change their thinking entirely, really think in terms of you know, this, the smaller screen. Um, Chart Boost, so I don't know if you heard of those guys, they're a direct uh, deal ads platform for, for iPhone and Android. And th those guys were former Tactilist guys, basically the, the early engineer, early BD uh, of the team came out.